I'm just kidding. I don't hate Walmart that much anymore. But uh, yeah, what is going on, you dirty old stash stainers? It is me, and then there's a lady parking her cart right behind me. Still kind of weird talking to people in front, or talking to a camera in front of people, but I'm finally getting used to it, almost 600 videos later. What is going on, you dirty old stash stainers? It is me, and as you can see, we are uh, outside of old Walmart. Towards the end of the year, once, uh, once it starts getting cold, but not cold enough to make the lakes frozen, I just, I try to do a uh, Walmart challenge thingy. Go inside, buy some weird baits, and see if we can't catch fish on them, and um, some of you guys love them. I should probably do more, but if you guys really love Walmart challenges, there's a lot of channels out there that seemingly only do Walmart challenges. But if you like me doing Walmart challenges and you think they're funny, this is the video for you. But basically, we're gonna be going to a creek. I only brought one rod. I, uh, I actually haven't been fishing all that much lately, really, but we're gonna go fishing today. Got a few hours, broke away. Um, Thanksgiving weekend, happy Thanksgiving, by the way. I haven't, I haven't talked to you guys stash to stashlings in a while and a lot of things to cover, but I'll kind of think of them throughout the day. But basically, right now, I'm going to uh, shut this camera off, bring in the chesty, go inside in Walmart and see what we can't find to uh, buy and catch fish on. So we're going to a creek. Stuff and things go out. All right, I gotta put this weird apparati away. Apparatus? What's an apparati? I'm not sure. Then I gotta repark my car so I don't look like a jackass. Then I gotta put my face diaper on and we're gonna go see what goodies old Walmart has. Walmart and stuff. Walmart and stuff. People are gonna look at me weird because I'm saying to myself and stuff. Alrighty, we made it to the fishing Isles. We're gonna make this quick because I just wanna go fish. Not gonna make it some long, drawn out shopping experience for you folks. You're welcome. We're just gonna grab a few random things and see if we can catch fish on them. That's more what we're looking for. We're gonna cheese or nightcrawler? Cheese or nightcrawler? Nightcrawler? <laughs> Get one of these uh, injured bait fish. More like dead for 25 years bait fish. Give those a whirl. <laughs> Let's get one more thingy. Strawberries. And we got corn in the truck. Let's go buy this crap and let it rip. Tater chip. Even found some six cents hooks. Discount code stash on the website. Apparently they also have them at Walmart. 20 bucks, not bad. Let's do it. Hopefully we catch something big and stuff. <laughs> Fresh air. I'm out of Walmart. We survived. See you there. Alrighty, just like me coming down every year is a tradition. So is me finding dead deer bodies dumped off the side of the road. This year, we only got one. Last year, there was three and they were chopped into little pieces. Not sure which is better or worse, but pretty sure that's illegal. I mean, there's a chance it could have just jumped off the bridge, right? I mean, its head's there, no meat was taken, but I don't think deer are that stupid. Probably a human and stuff. Alrighty, we're all rigged up and uh, yeah, these are the two types of fish in this creek and I'm pretty dialed on this creek. I've fished this creek a lot. And um, yeah, we're gonna try one that targets both species because I think it's gonna be the easiest, besides corn, of course. If we get desperate, we're gonna fish with corn, but yeah, we're fishing this spot. Um, this time of year, they just always seem to kind of pile up here. It's uh, not really all that deep, but generally speaking, this area of the creek is very, very shallow, like a foot deep. Like right here, it gets to eh, three or four, which isn't exactly that deep, but when miles each way are only a foot, Looks like a pretty good spot for a fish. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna rig one of these up, chuck it out, and see if we can't get nibbleted. Um, what else was I gonna bring up? Oh yeah, something I never bring up, but with Christmas coming up, I figured I'd bring it up. I do sell merch, like this hat and some other stuff. Got a waterproof jacket back, and um, yeah, everything just got stocked up for Christmas. I'm not really sure if you order now, if it'll be there in time, but It'll at least be there around Christmas. So if you want to get uh, your beloved stash stainers some Christmas merch, it'll be linked down below. And that was a horrible pitch for merch, but it's better than what I have been doing, which is nothing. Let's catch fish. Bye-bye. All right. Primo, it says. Magic bait. I call bullshit, but we're going to give it a whirl. Looks better than the... Uh, 
20 year old chads or whatever they are. I'm gonna put two of these in my pocket and um, yeah, eventually I'll get the big camera going again, but I wanna make sure the fishies are home, even though I have a pretty good idea that the fishies are probably home because they are every year. This time of year though, they kind of, uh, they kind of ball up. So I only brought one rod, mainly because I'm confident in my abilities to catch fish here. They're all fishing in the sitting in the same spot. So there's really uh, very little point in lining up a bunch of rods. So we're gonna wade out into the water here. Plop our magic bait on the bottom and see if it actually is magic. Then we'll go through the other two and then if those don't work, then we'll use the real magic bait. Corn. And stuff. That was a fish. Thought it was a rock. Yeah. Looks like something likes the uh, magic bait. It's kind of fighting like a channel. Mm, maybe not. Kind of though. It is a channel, it's a decent one. Channel? Channel cat? Meow meow? Kitty kitty? Carpy carpy. Smaller one, but. Magic bait plus, you guessed it, corn. <laughs> We're having to, uh, be innovative here using two baits at a time you guys think i could put a damn shad on there with corn and i could catch a carp on it it's not even a shad i don't know what they are shiners something or others i'm not sure but i tried the plain magic bait and one did pick it up but they just wouldn't hold on to it and i'm not really sure if the magic bait floats should probably check into that carp primarily feed on the bottom so I'm not sure if it floating up off the bottom is a good thing. All right, I'll quit cheating. In the end, I just want to catch fish, though, so if it takes cheating on a challenge, then I will do it. But Let's uh, do just a magic bait for about 10 minutes and then try one of the others and stuff. I didn't even feel that bite. Or I kind of did like a while ago, but he just grabbed it and sat there with it. Let's see if we can get one to grab this and sit there with it and stuff. He's got the magic bait. What does this stuff do? Does this stuff float? Yeah, no, it sinks. That's good. I'm not sure if any of the fish we're targeting are gonna eat it if it's floating, so it's probably a good thing that it's sinking. Keep grabbing it, but they definitely ain't grabbing it as good as some Del Monte, Del Monterey, El Monterey. I think those are burritos. Whatever the corn brand is. They like to hold on to that even when the water's cold, but they're more or less just nudging this, it seems like. Got one. Oh, he's in the shit. <laughs> All right, well, we moved back down to the starting spot and got one. Kind of stopped biting um, up where we were getting bit. And figured before I left and switched spots, I'd come down here and give it a try. If I switch spots, I hadn't decided where I was switching spots to. Maybe just on the other side of the creek so I could fish those rocks more effectively, but um, yeah, at least one moved into uh, this area. Question is, can we get him in? Brought my littlest bowl today for fun, you know? Still rocking the corn mixed with the uh, magic bait as I call it. I forget what it's actually called. Is it actually called magic bait? I don't know, I don't pay attention, but I haven't had the courage to uh, try the 20 year old fish yet. And uh, the other one, I still can't remember what the hell the other one is. I think it's just some night crawler dough ball things. We'll try that next. All right, Skippy, get your ass up here. We gotta get some Nightcrawler dough balls on. A little bigger. Definitely angrier. Definitely uh, too light of a pole for this, but makes it a little more fun. 
get that bend. Definitely an upgrade. Definitely. <clears throat> Maybe they moved on to my uh, original spot because the water warmed up a little bit. I have no idea. But I'm thankful to have at least got another bite. Because for the most part, they've been uh, few and far between. Sorry about the string. But the string's been dangling most of the time. I keep trying to wrap it up, but it doesn't always work out. You're too cold, cart bud. I don't even want to touch you, but thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Just kind of uh, not trying super hard. Relaxy day of fishing. I've been trying decently hard, though. Harder than I'd like to admit, I guess. But yeah, set it up in a pole holder and just waited. Took about five minutes for it to hit it, maybe ten. And um, yeah, that one liked the magic bait with the help of corn again. Second fish on that combo. But if I'm gonna be real with you, do I think the fish was going after the corn or the uh, magic bait? If I had to guess, it'd probably be the corn. Let's do plain uh, nightcrawler nugget. See where that gets us. They keep like scaring their friends though. Every time I hook one, they leave and I have to find them again. I also was sitting on my backpack and I think my fat ass broke something in there. So I'm gonna have to check that out too, but see if we can get a second fish out of this spot. Hasn't been, uh, hasn't been seeming like that's possible. I guess the first little area we caught a couple, but they definitely dipped out of that spot, so. See if they move down here. At least one did. And stuff. Hmm. Something's got it. Something ate the night crawler. Night crawler ball, whatever it's called. But bad news is, is it's stuck, stuck in something. And this is only 10 pound test. Well. They moved back to the spot that I wanted them to be in, or thought they'd be in. And um, yeah, it seems like the bigger fish are in this spot now. The problem is, it's also the snaggiest spot on this stretch of creek. So I don't know how I'm gonna get them out, but I'm surely gonna try. I think I got them out. Be something other than a carp. <laughs> There's no chance it's some other. <laughs> yeah, it's another carp. Pretty big one though. And um, in the past four hours, we've only caught a few fish, so at least we got them out of the snag and see if we can actually get them in. <laughs> ah. I wanted to get some dra drag pulled out of my little rod today and. I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting with, with some uh, Walmart stuff, and yeah, we're getting it done to a point. Oh gosh, shouldn't talk too soon. Pretty good one. Maybe even bigger than the last one. Come here, bud. I mean, even in like, I don't know, comment down below. If a lake, decent sized lake is 39 degrees, I'd imagine a creek is colder, warmer. I don't know, I guess it is shallow, but there's no sun really warming it up today. So I don't really know how that works. Don't really know how that works, but I'm gonna actually try to pick this one up. This might be our last fish. <sighs> Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Definitely the best colors. Definitely biggest one of the day. On the old. Uh. All right, let's get this guy in. On the old night crawler ball. You like balls of crawlers there, bud? I guess you do. Yes, you do. Didn't take long either. I'm gonna mess around a little bit longer. I'm gonna try the uh, try the final bait. 
the least favorite of the baits for me. The pre-packaged, tie-dyed, Chad Shiner things. And then we're going home because I'm freezing and stuff. Hey, dear bud, did you see the did you did you see, did you see the carp carp fish that I caught? Did you see him? Oh wait, your eyes are in the water. You couldn't have seen him. Caught some carp, bud. Dear bud, have a good day. Alrighty, I'm giving up. Tried the stupid little Chad Shiner things and um, yeah, no luck, which I'm not surprised. The uh, magic bait worked pretty well with corn. The nightcrawler ball sack thing got hit pretty much right away, and um, yeah, the corn, the corn will always work. I was just, I wanted to try some new things, try some new stuff, and make it a little bit more interesting for you, but. Uh, Sorry for the lack of uploads lately. It's uh, the fishing's been kind of tough, and I've just been kind of organizing things, redoing my garage, getting ice fishing stuff set up, and uh, hopefully we eventually get ice. I'm ready for ice. I am. Uh, it, open water can be pretty brutal right now, so I'm ready for the lakes to freeze. Looks like we got a little bit, a little bit of time to wait in Nebraska, but. Maybe I'll have to travel or something. But if you like this video somehow, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I definitely appreciate you watching, and um, yeah, be sure to check out the merch and stuff. Thanks. See you later. Stuff things. Pow bye.